We're doing it. Let's go. Okay. So where did we leave off last time? Because we're just going to do nothing but nothing but progression today. Nothing but tons of progress. So I have four of six radiation things lowered. I've got to find a way to launch the mayo into the core of the liner. Now, I went into the mayo. I did not know that I could travel inside of the mayonnaise. But I, I did, and I can. So I'll show you where we are in relation to the rest of the uh, world. Oh, I drove my car in here, by the way. Oh, okay. Sure, I'll take some ice. Why not? Okay, so here's the wall. The entrance to the, uh, to the mayonnaise. So I made it all the way to the Mayo Dome. And I had to free this thing and fire the Mayo into the core to cool it down, to lower the radiation, all that, all that good stuff. So that's where I currently am. Now, my curiosity wants me to go back to that other big, huge ball of Mayo right there and see what's inside of it. But I will not let my curiosity get the better of me. However, I do see a coffin out here, and I'm wondering, did I open this? I did not open this coffin yet, so I'm going to open this coffin right now. There we go. All right, back into the mail ball. And where's my, there's my car. I know my car is right by the entrance. Okay, now all of this is brand new discovery. This is all new to me. I've never been in this place. I've never been through that door. Uh, do I have a first aid kit? I do not. Okay. Oh well. This vacuum cleaner is called Rocket for a reason. With it having such a powerful engine, it is really possible to fly it if you bypass some technical limitations. I already have this blueprint, thank you. Okay. Unbelievable. This is heaven knows what, but it's certainly not a simple tank for storing food products. Is it a Mayo Singularity, maybe? Martin Lurkowski, thank you for the 11 months. Poop. Do you mean... Is that what your poop sounds like? Oh, no. Oh, man, I'm glad I saved that one. But what's this? The detailed plan of the transport module. Oh, the medium transport module. I already have the large one, I guess. Why is there always so much rubber laying around? I think eventually I'm going to get the, the recipe for condoms. Oh, shit. My inventory is full. Fuck me. Uh, well, I never need light bulbs. Or hardly ever. Um... Yeah. Those take up lots of room. Okay. They're doing experiments with mayo. Okay. After spending five hours, what is this? Fuck you! Oh. Fuck you! Oh, <laughs> it's when I find the car. However, if you watch the, if you watch, I don't know if it does, hold on. 
I don't know if it does the whole thing. It should. Fuck you! But there's the car. Fuck you, game! However, Fuck you. it's not Why built. Would you do that to me? Ah. It's just it's just a, a, a scannable blueprint, so you can't actually drive that thing. I was upset because I spent so many hours just getting the car built. But that is not the actual car. It's just a part of it that you can scan for blueprint. One of three. And I haven't found the third one yet, so. Okay. Sorry, sorry if this makes you motion sick. Oh, this is just back to the, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Into the Mayo room. Or the Mayo Clinic? <laughs> the Mayo Clinic, do you get it? All data indicate that the mayonnaise is not mayonnaise, and the tank was an integral part of the systems of the lighter unnamed. We have to start the centrifuge, even just out of scientific interest. We do, you're right. There, now I have full health. Hold on, I'm gonna look at stuff before we start the thing, just to see if I'm... Oh, hey, what's this? Green Universe Order. To Comrade 20B, uh, 20B OV. The command's order stop. The inner unnamed at point 15 and wait, uh, await further instructions. Broccoli. Oh, the broccoli people. Right, I forgot about that. The headlines. At the very start of the game, there were broccoli people. Okay. The liner unnamed at point 15 and wait for the structure. Okay. The data analysis on the crash of the liner and the nature of the damage allows us to state with great confidence that the damage caused to the Mayo tanks by the abruptly stopped centrifuge was one of the causes of the liner's depressurization and its ejection from the warp. These data confirm the possible involvement of the green universe in the disaster. Okay, so the green universe was responsible for my being stranded. And the, the unnamed blowing up and whatnot. Okay, here we go. Engine damage like detected. Go outside and check the tank engines. Oh, right, okay. So I've done all that. I just need, I have, I have the recipe for a new tank, for a new uh, engine tank or whatever. I just have to go fucking build it somewhere. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure. Equipment. Items. Yeah, there it is. Maneuver engine, right there. Generator, two plastic, compensator, and titanium. Okay. Oh, the igniter. I don't know what this is either. I just got the recipe for this. This is a quite complex device for burning fuel inside small engines. It's usually back in case of emergency due to the danger of setting fire to something. Oh, is this like an upgrade for like my vacuum or something? Hmm. That would be awesome if it was an upgrade. Why? Why? Get in the car. curiosity about this car here it said it can it can withstand heat and cold however it my car can withstand heat and cold but that doesn't mean I can that doesn't mean I can grab anything like I can't use my grabber to grab anything that's outside here
Well, before we do anything dumb, go ahead and save. My health isn't going down. See? My health isn't going down. It's fine. Now it is. Oh, it's the durability of the car is going down. Okay. That's what was happening. Okay. You lie again. Now I you understand. Are here. That means death was impossible. Yo, Stryer, thank you for the 39 Over. months. Perfect Volpes with the six months, two stripes. Well, you obviously won't listen to reason, so I guess I'll listen to idioticness and come with you. What is that from? I know that line. Damn it. Also, why is it capitalized? Is it the title of something? Martin Lurkowski already said that one. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. So I, I I do have to I do have to get out. Okay. But it's gonna hurt me anyway. Maybe there are little balls that I can gather. You know, those little side balls that, that accompany... No, I don't think so. Hmm. Maybe it's just these ones that I can get. Okay, so I have to like shoot in there, grab one real quick, and then come back. That like like how I did before. That doesn't seem right. You lie again. You are here. That means death was impossible. Shut up. Just a minor full body third degree burns. Yeah, what are you crying about? Quit your crying. Wait. God oh, damn it. So that's it? That's how I have to get these? That doesn't seem right. And my car doesn't seem to like survive heat any better than I do. Yeah, there has to be something else. Something I'm missing. Uh, where's my, there it is. Also, gotta remember I get out the right side every time. Get in there. What do you, get in there, dummy. What do I need to build? Nope. Equipment. There we go. Maneuver engine. Generator. Plastic and compensator. Okay. So, two things. So, I need to build a generator and compensator, right? Need one electronics. Tell me I got one. I do. Good. Okay. No. 
There. Two plastics. Plastic, son. Maneuvering engine. Done. Okay, two aluminum, two battery, one inductor. I got the inductor. I just need two aluminum and two battery. Fuck! Nope. Fuck, no batteries? Mm, okay. Do I, have, do I have alkali? Alkali. There we go. I can make the metal. Or I can make the batteries. There we go. I can make two batteries. Aluminium. Whatever. Oh, and shit. I got the recipe for the infinite. There you go. The infinite handy scraper. Scrapper. Four plastic, four wire, four titanium. Okay. Mm hmm. Also, I like this thing way better than that car. The visibility on it alone. Okay. Easy peasy. I haven't actually been at the screen when you've researched things. How does researching a blueprint work? Uh, you have to build the research station. Uh, what can I drop? There. Water's everywhere. Um, you have to build the, um, inside of a, whoops, inside of a habitat, <laughs> Excuse me. Inside of a habitat, you have to build a um, a bench, a, a workbench, a research bench, basically. Uh, there we go. No, uh, aluminum is a funny word. Aluminum, aluminium. Okay, so I have four titanium, aluminum, four wires. What was the other thing I needed for the infinite scrapper? Titanium, four wires. Four, oh, plastics. I need four plastic. Right. Ah. Uh. I have thousands of them back there. All right, one thing at a time. I have the Lyco. Equipment, items, igniter. I don't know what this does. Burning fuel inside small engines. Use only back of in cases of emergency. Oh, it's probably for, I need it for building the, I probably need it for building like a rocket vacuum, I'm guessing. Um, ask away, I'll help if I can. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, oh, you're talking about something else. Oh, you're talking to the Purple King. Okay. Yeah, if I want to know the answer to something, I will definitely ask. I will make it completely obvious that I'm asking. 
I usually have so much plastic. And ne never a use for it. Um... Metal, metal. Oh, there we go. That's what we need. Plastic. There's the radio. Oh my God! Underpants with studs. This spa the spacesuit can uh, can sincerely consider this to be the clothes uh, clothes for working with a soldering iron. There's no sense in telling it about a whole layer of perverted culture. <laughs> oh no, my inventory's full. I can't even take the undies. There we go. That freed up a lot of spaces. Underpants designed for working with a soldering iron. Solder studs, inner pocket for flux, and durable outer coating. Very practical, although I might be wrong about the purpose of this clothing. <laughs> Refined metal is always good. Yep, so I just need, I just need two more plastics. And then I'm good. And usually they're hanging out at the ends of these spaceships. Shit. Oh, what happened to this guy? Oh, the cost of breath edge agency funerals is the lowest on the market of funeral services. However, some people still prefer to bury their relatives in a slipshod manner. <laughs> oh, my scanner is done now. Damn it. Uh, Zeke, what is the moment of porno that lives rent free in your head? Oh, man. I'll give you two of mine. One, a 90s porn when the dude said the chick had bodacious tatas. Two, a girl tells a dude to hurry up and piss on her butthole because she has to pick up a pie from a burger shop. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, let me think about that. While we're thinking about it, CRPS, uh, CRPS Remnant, thank you for the six months. Here you go, handsome. Thank you. Um, one that lives rent-free in my head and probably one that lives rent-free in Man vs. Game's head, I think it was him with me, is uh, we found my dad's porno stash. And uh, it was all VHSs back then. And we put one of them in. And there was a dwarf uh, dressed as a Christmas elf. Standing with like a candy cane in his hand. Watching two people fuck. And he was supposed to be like a statue or something. And he would look at them and periodically go, Suck that dick. Suck that fucking dick. And then he'd go back to being a statue. He would just call, he would just like tell the, the two people having sex what to do. It was very strange. Very strange. Um, it was a, and it was Christmas themed. They don't make them like that anymore, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, there is no place for trying to wear on a spaceship, even if it's your grandma's favorite set. Modern kitchenware for spaceships is made for re from recycled plastic. And even this type of kitchenware is seldom used. It's much easier to suck food from packets. Well, I've got to take. I don't have a choice. It, lo oh, it looked like there was something else. Okay. 
Maybe there'll be plastic in here. Nope. Rubber cloth wire. Fuck. Rubber cloth wire again, damn it. I need a fucking radio. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what? Oh, the lack of cheap, tasty space food forces people to conduct culinary experiments or strictly brave in on spaceships. You can try to pick off some of the pieces of meat, but the face, but the fate of the chef does not quite inspire to do that. Oddly enough, the death resulted from an acute allergic reaction to an unknown substance. Oh the my Rodex God. Funeral agency strongly recommends using only approved food products in order to determine the cause of your death more accurately. That's fucking great. Look at his face. It's all fucking melted. It's beautiful. So I just basically go in and out of mayonnaise. Oh, that's okay. Someone clearly does not like standard space food. Even the liner's kitchen didn't have such equipment. Oh. This is a new area. Oh, nope. All right. Never mind. Oh, got to go in this way. Okay, never mind. God damn it. One more plastic. Oh, here we go. Got to go in from the top. Box with food. Stop stealing my sandwiches. It would be easy to open the lock, but I fear the products inside are either spoiled or were spoiled on purpose. If someone is constantly stealing your food, do not, under any circumstance, mix it with a laxative, an emetic, or red pepper. But I would not open this box if I were you. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh... There is one more plastic, I saw it. Oh. We can leave that behind, no problem. Plastic. Oh! Fuck! I don't have a scanner. Right. I gotta come back and get that. All right. We got everything we need to make the new infinite scrapper, which I'm pretty excited about, I'll be honest with you. Don't steal it, there's a note. <laughs> I bought Japanese mayo, but I'm too chicken to try it. What's what's the difference between Japanese mayo and the mayo that I've grown accustomed to all these years? 
did they put something in it? It's like, it's more eggy. Oh, okay. Oh, it's sweet. Oh, interesting. Shut up. You're fine. Quit being a little bitch. Infinite handy scrapper. Let's go. Beautiful. The infinite handy scrapper is the only handy scrapper in the world that can break other handy scrappers. <laughs> Perfect. All right, we got our junk drawer here where we put all the junk that we found. What do we need aluminum for? Didn't we need aluminum for something? I thought we did. Maybe we needed it for the igniter, which we already built. Oh well. Uh, let's see, what do we want? Oh, we need a new scanner. So we need plastic. Oh, fucking plastic. We need a plastic and a light bulb. God damn it. We have so many light bulbs. Shit. With the car, it shouldn't take long. Zeke, if you always look to your right to read chat, am I going mad for no reason? I look this way, I've got two chats. I've got the my big long chat right here, and then I've got my, my streaming dashboard right here that has a smaller version of chat, so I can look either way. I caught you. Thank you for the eight months. Get in. Or I hide my stash. Let's see. No, no. Yep. 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 There we go. New scanner. Give me the gas, too. I'll take that with me. Take the water. What else is important that I take here? Plastic. Jesus. I don't, I don't much care for the fact that this windshield like makes everything a little bit less clear. The windshield on this car, I don't much care for that. I think if I speed ran this game, I, I'm, I, I think about that sometimes. Like, if I was a speedrunner, what would be the first thing I would get in a game like this? 
I think the first thing I would have to get would be, uh, like priority number one would be the rocket vacuum. Like all things point to the rocket vacuum. Oh, and I got plastic for no reason because I got it in a scanner. Oh, why didn't I listen to the fucking table I was there? Why didn't I listen to the table I was there, guys? God damn it. That was silly. Stupid. All right, I'm taking, I'm keeping the grenades and all that shit. Okay, we're good. Save. There's no speedrun. No, there's no speedruns of this game yet. I wouldn't imagine. Oh, there are speedruns of this game. Okay. Save. Save. Would you like to save? Save the game. Save it. You know, honestly, I could, I could probably... Turn that down. There we go. Turn that up a little bit. There. Oh, here we go. The art of eating. The issue, cluck tastic grilled chicken recipes. What, inebri what inebriates you more, craft beer or religion? A unique quiz on page 12. How to enlarge your potatoes in three days. Cooking magazines are very popular, especially among those who will never learn to cook anything more than difficult than hot water. Perhaps there is some psychological wisdom in this. You will learn how to avoid crumbs getting on your sheets and blankets when you are served breakfast in bed. Prepare delicious drinks from just one ingredient. Read a unique article about the benefits of sitting on a vegetable bed. Get inspired by looking through 20 pages of food photos with no comments and much more. Oh, that's one thing I never made. I forgot about that. I never made the soil analyzer. So I can't, I can't actually break it. Okay, they were lying. What do I need to make Oops, the soil analyzer? No, 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 no. Uh, objects, equipment, tools, battery electronics, two magnets and two plastics. Okay. Uh, you show the folks what I tweeted. Okay. Sure. Yeah, let me know, Scott, in an hour. If you can remember, if you can remind me. Man, there was more plastic in there, and I didn't even see it. I didn't have to go all the way. Huh. Um, wait, wait, where am I going? Oh, up here, right. Nope. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise! 
<laughs> Sorry, it sounded like I was saying Mayday. Mayonnaise! Mayonnaise! That ship sounds like it's in trouble. Uh, never mind. False alarm. Fine metal. That's good. What happened? Oh, sticky magazine. Oh, top free prefabricated models. In this issue, Grandpa's Dream, a complete guide to how to glue a model. A magazine with attractive girls and sticky pages. Better not to touch it without a spacesuit. Although, even in a spacesuit, it's not recommended to do so. Oh, it's he's in mayonnaise too. Uh, in this issue, a 16-page step-by-step picture guide where professional models demonstrate how to assemble a legendary car model, a brief history of the car's creation, and an interview with the chief engineer of the International Non-Space Factory, the poster of Grandpa's Dream, a 20-page section with a catalog of all the models in involved in the car's assembly. Next issue, Legend of the Domestic Automobile Industry, Dad's Wanderer, assemble and glue together a unique moldy rust color design model. Seems like it's not mayonnaise. <laughs> Oh, hey. What? Freezing danger from relieving myself? What is this? That's pretty hilarious. If you pee in the mayo. I guess there's a danger of freezing. Which I think is kind of hilarious. Well, I mean, it they use the mayo as coolant, so that I mean it follows. This is the airlock, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to go repair the thing first. Dummy. Here we go. There. The engine is installed. Now the tank will probably be able to fly. Please don't. Please just get in. Get in. You have two hands, both on screen. You're relieving yourself. It's if you're relieving yourself, it's on the inside of the suit. No, I think the suit senses when you're when you're peeing, and it like opens up the relief valve. I think. Why did I come in here with this car? God damn it. Fuck it. It's right ahead of me. Or is it? Oh. 
It's below me, isn't it? Knew I shouldn't have took the car. Should have took the goddamn vacuum. I'll never find parking. I'm in the fucking right area, aren't I? Maybe I'm not. I thought for fucking sure I was in the airlock part. No, I wasn't. Or was I? No, that's this is the the, the support beam. No, I was in the fucking right part. That wasn't there. That was not there. It was a blank fucking wall last time. That was it. That was glitched out, dude. That definitely looks like something I could scan. All right, fuck it, let's go. All right, I did the once around on this place, pretty sure. Let's do what needs to be done. Centrifuge valve damaged, huh? Ah! Oh, shit. I didn't even see this guy. <laughs> I didn't even see that guy. Indicating increased gas production due to excessive broccoli eating. All this points out that the body belongs to the Green Universe Radical Group. If the possible moral constraints are no problem, this bag of methane, hydrogen, and organic residues can be used to provide initial acceleration to the centrifuge. You only need to figure out how to do it. Aha. Uh -huh. Igniter. Also, I just noticed that, that the Chuck Norris thing is on my stick. That's great. <laughs> Butt hurt. That's the achievement. I got the butt hurt. Gas to create a miniature engine with an igniter, your barbaric method of directly lighting your rear end is recognized as effective. It's time to check the control panel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, God. 
God, I didn't apply it. That's why. There. That's the problem. On the other hand, you're still not flying quickly anymore, and it's good. But I advise you to get out of here as soon as possible. Locked. We need to find another way. Yep, go up there, through the tube. If the core was damaged and the mayo from the central cooling circuit was thrown into space, then we could use the same way for evacuation. Where? There's a tube somewhere. I'm not seeing a tube. I go through the core? Nope, not through the core. Oh, up. Oh, I gotta go. Okay. Dexterity, together with incredible luck and incredibly linear strength, works wonders. In any case, there's a decrease in the core's activity. If nothing explodes there in the next couple of minutes, then the task can be considered completed. Hooray! Uh, Tark, caref careful sure, with the help, though. Apparently, it was a backup power cell of the newest nuclear warp installation in the core of the liner. What we have seen is one of the most protected government secrets, and the presence of a green universe radical there confirms their involvement in the catastrophe. Right. Only if I ask for it. Please. And uh, I realize that a lot of it's going to sound like I'm asking. If I'm asking for help, I will address you, Chad. It would be useful to have a powerful soil analyzer with the function of deep scanning, which is usually used by biologists and treasure hunters. Wait. There it is. Okay. Let us... What did I mark it? Did I mark my vehicle as purple or... Might as well. Did I mark both of them purple? It did. Okay. So now I have to go all the way over there since my radiation... I got the new radiation suit, I think. I also have the radiation helmet with the red paint on it. But I can't use it because I can't fucking see. Yeah, that would have broke my fucking heart if the car was a casualty of this whole thing. Okay, so for the soil analyzer, what do I need? Oops, equipment, tools. There we go. Battery, electronics, and two magnets. Uh, we got electronics, two magnets. I know we have a battery, right? Yeah, battery. There we go. Equipment, tools, soil analyzer. Bingo. The only the only time I've ever needed to use this. I should get a blaster too. I should get a blaster. Um, I just need one more lycoplasma. Okay, I can do that. Wait. Oh, never mind. Shit, do I have more water here? Or am I out? Oh, I got, I got, I got lots. Save it up. Cause if you save me up, I'll never stop. Never stop. Never, never, never. Cause you save me up. Well, I haven't been in there yet, so I don't know 
Like, I sliced it open, but there's something I'm definitely missing. Thave. Thave, would you like to thave? Thave. Hey, thave it. Thave. You've seen such a lamp somewhere already. I think you could assemble one like this yourself, for some unknown purpose. <laughs> what the fuck happened to that guy? Oh, he just, oh. That's just, that's all happened. That's all that happened to him. He just became a, a grease spot. Got it. Now. Oh, man. Okay. Can I, I can analyze this, right? Yep, there we go. Are you serious? Nothing of interest. And it takes down the durability? So I gotta find a specific spot to analyze? Are you fucking joking me? Why did I even build this stupid thing? So we gotta find out what that fist thing is. Before we go to the other side of the galaxy. We, we sliced open the, the module, but we missed the door. An armored airlock with complex entry control system. The system was so complex that it was the first one to fail. However, this doesn't prevent the door from remaining armored. We won't find any other way into the module anyway. Oh, here we go. I just needed to see the right the right With area. such damage, we won't be able to control the core remotely, but we can use the core protection protocol and open additional cooling valves in the liner. For that, find the central panel and try to guess the nine-digit password. Oh, try to guess the nine-digit password? Oh, good. Love to. Oh, because I got that smudged. Yeah, that smudged password. I forgot about that. Oh, goody. This is all... Gravity. We got gravity back. Rubber. Okay. Lots of water. Okay. We'll chicken that. Chicken this. Sputnik. 
taking us into the future. babe was calling from? Oh! I'm gonna do something silly. Ah! Oh, it, it disintegrated! <laughs> Damn it! A detailed plan of the habitation module. What happened here? I can't even scan that guy. I can't take their cups. Okay. All right. Nothing to scan. Nothing to see here. Oh, and it is a dead end. Okay. Perfect. Lies. Uh, was the almighty chicken, uh, oh, the, the immortal chicken? I mean, sort of. They were experimenting with, uh, gene splicing, uh, cows and chickens together, so I'm guessing that's part of it. It's like, in their experiments with chickens and cows, they might have found a way to, like, make an immortal chicken. It hasn't been fully explained though, no. A detailed plan of the service module. It's been hinted at, I guess. Most likely the passenger died because of a harmless toy that clogged the air outflow. Sometimes a dust collector is still worth <laughs> cleaning, although this leads to interesting design solutions. Fucking <laughs> the blood scoot like he scooted across the ground. <laughs> Grumpy's collectible toy. The specimen has been inside the vacuum cleaner. Who knows what else? However, it's still white in color and completely intact. Now that's what I call high quality. <laughs> oh, okay. This fake console, assembled literally from different pieces of trash, refutes the statements of its manufacturers about the impossibility of repairing their device by rule of thumb due to its incredible complexity. <laughs> oh my god, the Extendo Slim! Oh, I can make it an Extendo! <laughs> um, as far as I know, I can't crouch. So... I don't, I can't really see that guy. Yeah. Whoa. Repair robot. Nice. Automatic maintenance team. I wouldn't touch them unless necessary. Okay. Electrical control unit? Okay. Is 
There's a few of them. Oh, okay. Well, now that I have the infinite handy scrapper. Oh. Oh, it must keep them busy, I guess. faster than your attempts to break it. We need to get rid of the maintenance team somehow. Is it though? No, I definitely can break it. <laughs> but I get it. I get that's what they want. They want me to... To distract them, I guess. Be the central panel. Okay. Enter password. On the first try. That was easy. What? You unable to lie. You could not just do something and not break something. Tell truth. Confirm. <laughs> Did I just fucking float it off? I suspect that the panel is a bit out of order, but judging by the sensors, an undocumented passage was hidden under it. Ah. It's a ah, secret passage. I get you. Someone like to break lamps because it doesn't look a bit like repair work. Down we go. There's no information about these rooms. Something happened here, although you've probably already noticed it. Oh, I probably have to uh, bust all these, I'm guessing. Battery, 10 of 10. The cause of death is a blunt injury to the head. Wait a minute. Molten metal piece. Piece of molten metal looks uh, like exactly like a piece of molten metal. Oh, it's a zapper. It's a, a melted zapper. The remains of a military blaster. Civilians don't have access Fuck! to such technology. That's what if I was going to build. If you assemble such a weapon, I will be forced to send a report to proper authorities through the damaged communication channel in your suit. Shit. That's what I was going to build. I was going to build a goddamn um zapper. A laser laser pistol. Damn it. All right, Bear Claw 34, thank you for four years. N nice cock. That's right, four years. That was a while ago. I'm so sorry. Dr. Claw, thank you for the host. One pump panda with 11 months and bullet sponge with 21. What will it take for you to loving caress my bottom? I don't know. It's going to take something. It's going to take something for sure. Damn, dude. Uh, What is the least valuable thing? Probably these. Probably these. 
since I have the vehicle that has oxygen in it. It's definitely one of the Breath Edge Agency coffins, but its ID is missing in my database. Classified will not be used even with such an advantage. When creating the core, we used all our developments in the field of quantum physics as well as the enriched E14P alloy. The potential power of the core exceeded the bounds of the initial calculations. We are on the verge of discovering hyperspace, a hyperspace engine. However, at the moment, we do not even have the technology for a spaceship that can withstand a hyperspace jump. The liner unnamed should successfully pass field tests and gave a, give us an answer about the stability of the core. We are 200% certain that this experiment will be a success. Otherwise, we would not even, we would not endanger the lives of the passengers. So it's not the size that makes the liner unnamed unique, but its latest energy core. Maybe that's what drew the attention of the Green Universe Radicals? We'd better forget this classified information. Looks like you're not the only one who's fond of destroying important equipment. Now I can't even connect to this is. panel. What's left now is to break the rest of the stuff around here, and there's a chance that this will activate some core protection protocol. Or, alternatively, kill someone in this room. <laughs> right on. Okay. Break. Well, lots of breaking stuff now. Commander Chief's order to the leader of the second attack group. Get into the service module of the liner and grant access to subject number 03829HZ. Do not offer any resistance to the subject. Green Universe Commander in Chief. Oh, so he was trying to use the thing and it blasted him. Okay. Trying to shoot. Yeah, there's the shots right there and it blasted him back. And that was the blunt force trauma. I get it. One more month, they have a Zeke baby, Lich. Yes, Lich, eight months. Love you too, man. Oh. Oh, I thought that was going to do it. I thought it was like... <laughs> One thing you could do was just like, you could break all this shit or you could just unplug it. Just pull the plug if you want. All right, let's break it, I guess. activity detected. It looks like you were able to start the protection protocol, although the ship's documentation says it's only possible. It looks like we've coded the task. The sensors detect a significant decrease in radiation. Unfortunately, so much debris got into the core that we now have even less time before it destabilizes. I recommend exploring new areas in search of means to survive and return to the inhabited sectors of space. Wait a minute. No chapter three? By the way, did you notice that you passed the third chapter? Oh, I hey. I forgot to display the text about it. Ah, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. Complete chapter three. Okay, that's Unfortunately, awesome. Unfortunately, it's still impossible to track the location of your interlocutor. If some kind of script doesn't trigger here right now, we'll be stuck here for a long time. <laughs> wow, this fucking self-aware game. But I think chapter four started quite a while ago, didn't it? Seems like you did something wrong, as always. I suggest you start a new game and try again. What? Come to think of it, forget it. Judging by the analysis of my sensors, the launch mayonnaise was completely absorbed by the core and destabilized it. The radiation level decreased to a critical minimum. It's time to visit Normandy before it's too late. What the shit, dude? <laughs> Goddamn dev troll. Yeah, because it... Okay. Fuck, man. Hold on, let me read those messages. There we go. I got this one a way long time ago. This one. What happened to core? Why is there why there is constantly explosion? It become less bright. You try to stop it. I see little interference. You'll be able to find my signal and we finally meet each other.
More modules, more decor, ceiling miscellaneous. Yep, yep. Okay. We cannot deny the fact that Green Universe was involved in the crash of the liner, but some details in their behavior and death don't correspond to the modus operandi of the attack. Now, wait a minute. Okay, I'm gonna go in there. Oh, I thought I was gonna go in there. I was just seeing if there's any secrets back there, because you can live for a little bit. You lie again. You are here. That means death was impossible. Tell There was a hilarious view on Steam. Game is full of bugs, stuck in first room for four hours and can't get out. I wonder what that meant. fuck was that oh i just flew too close to that thing okay oh he couldn't find the gum right yeah i had the same kind of sort of problem it wasn't it was it like hit in the corner it like flew into the corner of the top corner of the room in the dark and i couldn't see it That thing, that's where we're going. Nope, this is just a side room. Going, let's go. Here we go. In the car. Oh. Beautiful. While we're out here, might as well give it a little. There we go. Hundred, hundred percent. Now we got to worry about his food and water, but we should be fine. After looking through the technical support application. The agency decided to deal with the linearity of jokes in their spacesuits. Now you can always choose joke one or joke two if you buy a special Breath Edge 2 button gamepad. Oh my God, there's, oh, another paint module. Oh man. I thought, here I thought I had to go all the way back. Wasn't there? Didn't I see a body? Oh, maybe I didn't.
No, I, I, it must have been just a ball of lead. Just in case. Paint takes up too much area. Takes up two spots. Hmm. I thought there would be something to like trigger a voice line. Guess not. Oh well. I get seatbelt on, just drinking again. Go space chugging through the stars. Uh, going, making it through there. Here we go. You guys want to make a stop by the Death Star? We can go to the Death Star if you like. It's a nice place. I've been there. Yeah, the space car should have a radio, right? I haven't heard any any of the I haven't heard any of that shit in a long time. According to my calculations, the next decrease in the radiation level will occur. I eat my own shit and I like the it. Of the core overheats. The decrease in the radiation level will be significant, and it will last from 3 to 10 seconds, after which the explosion will follow, splitting us into atoms. With this in mind, it's highly recommended that you hurry. Okay, sounds great. Thank you, Muse Away, for the thousand bits, also for startling me. That was very cool of you. Why is that? I gotta turn that down, dude. That the car sound is so loud. That's I guess that's a little bit better. You really great, Z, uh, Z. Oh, thank you, Muse. I don't know. If I'm not mistaken, there's an accelerating transport station ahead. Apparently, they plan to use it for the evacuation of Normandy. Although it's hardly possible to do that. These stations help small spaceships gain initial acceleration when departing from the liner, but they are of no use for long distance flights. What? That sounds familiar. Oh, God damn it. I didn't make the blaster. I don't have any lycoplasma. I didn't make the blaster. Well, looks like I gotta do this the old fashioned way. Wait a minute, what? I eat my own shit and I like it. This thing has a grabber on it or something? What is this? That's how you get lycoplasma, god damn it! There's just one question that tickles my mind. Why are there so many damaged coffins? Aside from that, these coffins have limbs, weapons, and undoubtedly, active AI units, judging by the weak signals coming from their remains. So... To be honest, I'd rather not know what all of this means. 
So I could have been grabbing that shit. Grabbing the lycoplasma. So something was blasting from this. Now, hold on a second. Now, I know I can pick that shit up. Yeah, that, I eat my own shit and I like it. Shut up! Hold on. I can't, that's a drill. Just in case. I want to see where the... Where's the auto slave so Oh, it puts me way the fuck back here. Okay. Okay. And there's only one place to get that goddamn lycoplasma, isn't there? What was that? Auto save? Yes, auto save slut. Michael Fury, thank you for the 300 bits twice. I can't do the math. I don't know what that is, but it's a lot of bits. So thank you for that. You leaning closer makes me want to cheer more. Yeah, I know. Like, sometimes first person games, I like try and look around to see if I can see shit better. I'm an asshole. Yeah, Katie's pigtails have my brain addled, that's right. I eat my own shit and I like it. I don't either, Michael, I don't. No, it's not glasses, it's really not. I can see clearly. It's trying to get an angle around things that I can't prevent myself from trying to do that because uh, it's just like, I'm old. I think it's because I'm old, right? Also, yeah, I've done some VR. That's, let's, let's, there you go. Let's blame it on VR. It's VR, guys. VR has ruined me. I, I, yeah, I, I can't even feel myself doing it. I just lean close and squint. It's not like I can't see anything. I eat my own shit and I like it. God damn it, I don't! It's Solga! I think that, that alert has probably run its course. Wouldn't you say, guys? Probably sick of that alert. Probably don't need that one anymore. We can switch it up, probably. I'd imagine it'd be good. I eat my own shit and I like it. No, I don't though. I don't come in my own mouth and I don't eat my own shit. I eat my own shit and I like I it. I promise you these are false statements. I eat my own shit and I like it. It's false. Am I not? Okay. So it's not a grabber then. It wasn't grabbing any of it, any of that shit.
It said collect, but it was right click. This is left click. Right click. It says collect. It gets me out of the vehicle. Yeah, see, I'm not grabbing it. See, I get out of the vehicle when I do that. So it looks like a grabber, but it's not a grabber. I mean, it, it does look grabby, doesn't it? Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know what the fuck that's all about. You lie again. More gas, you nothing for 84 months. Means death was impossible. Tell truth. Confirm. Well, now I know. I don't have to go back. <laughs> I would like to get a, a blaster, but I think I can make it without it. You can't use the grabber from inside the car? I don't think so. No, you can't use any tool from inside the car. None, you have to get out of the vehicle to use any of these tools. The only thing I can grab from any vehicle are these little, little solo balls. I can grab those from the vacuum and from this, just like that. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't know what this does then. I'm guessing there's some sort of some sort of suit Or like an upgraded grabber that goes further. Or maybe it's like an upgrade for my vehicle that I haven't found yet that allows me to grab it. I mean, I can grab the lycoplasma. It's just a fucking pain in the ass. So I got to get out, hop in, grab the lycoplasma, hop out before I die. Oh, wait, here. Here's something we can definitely grab. Normally, we can grab this. See? If it was a grabber, it would grab the alkali. Yeah, I'm guessing there's just a, a blueprint I didn't get or something. Or maybe it's a, a hitter. Maybe it's for for hitting things that try to kill me. Like the security bots or whatever. They don't really explain the vehicles over overly it seems well. That the Normandy team died heroically fighting with coffins, which goes beyond any and all logic. On the other hand, the fact that you are still alive goes beyond any and all logic as well. In this regard, there's a chance that the coffins might be aggressive. It's recommended that you look around carefully and try to find some survivors. These robots don't have any built-in weapons. Oh. I wonder where they got so many blasters. The lack of weapons in the military module hits at a definite answer, though. Huh. So this... Is this the last blueprint? Oh, it's not. Oh, but there's something inside. Grogtan, the Barbarian. Amazing movie. Jock of the Grog Grogan race in our childhood. If we found any fluorescent lamps in the trash, we'd always play Grogan and fought with our, our lightsabers. It was fun, especially the part of pulling our splinters out from our rumps. Oh, oh my inventory's full. Okay. Let's get rid of... Get rid of the paint. I 
thought for sure this would be the last blueprint for the car. We can't do without some repair work here. There should be no guns on such a shuttle. Apparently, they made an exception for Normandy. Oh, okay. The breach is not dangerous, but the ship will have problems with depressurization in the habitation module. Therefore, any unattended belongings will fly out into outer space during the flight. I recommend you use certified storages and containers. Oh, all right. Most of the ship's systems are functioning nominally, but it will take a little effort if we are going to fly away from here. Hey! Next song, please. Well, look at this! Holy moly! Look at this little unit! Wait, change recipe? Oh, it's showing me what I want to make! Oh, okay. So I do need to fill it with goo. Okay. Alright. No, next song. There we go. Oh my god, I can fly around an entire thing! It's so loud now. It's still very loud. Damn it. Why is everything so loud? Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay. Well, seems like a good spot at any. Oh, did I not? Did I bring any food? I didn't bring any food, did I? <laughs> There we go. Okay. I will take that back, though. No, I do have... I definitely have a steak, yes. I have a steak. I have some water. There. Now we're all good. Save it there. All right. Time to take our first break of the day.